Hello and welcome to episode 259 of Bobo Scrabati Records. Hey. Yes, so, hmm, okie dokie. Well, I'm still trying to get some videos recorded for before I move, so by the time this comes out I should have moved. Ah. So we've only got a couple of days left in the time that I'm in now. And uh, yeah, so everything could be a little bit odd, seeing as though it's, um, you know, I, I believe this, this episode comes out on... April 1st, I think. So, yeah, we'll, um, I'm gonna play some artillery and see if, if the pre April 1st actually coming out on the April 1st plays, plays fools of us. So, yes, let's go, uh, start off in the M40, M43 and see what we can do. Ah, Kharkov. So, hmm, tier 9 match. One artillery per side. Hmm. This could be difficult. Have to wait and see. Hmm. It's been a lot of medium tanks over the last weekend or so. I think they had some some um, some of the medium tanks on special where you could rent them and stuff. So there's been lots of CDCs and things like that around. That seems to be calming down a bit more, but. There's still lots of um, lots of these medium tanks about. I think people are getting the idea that medium tanks are the thing to play, which is a little bit unfortunate for us, but um, it is what it is. Now, that's interesting. Lots happening down in the east at the moment. Let's see what? Oh, we can get some shots over this way. It's going to be difficult to get a shot on the 30 because he's got these wrecks behind him, but we could get something on the WZ11111, possibly. I haven't had much luck with Battle Assistant. We could give it a go, couldn't we? Uh, since the update, I don't know if... Hmm, okay, that went long. Fair enough. We know where the RT is, so we don't need to worry about counter-battery for the time being. Yeah, since the new update, I don't know whether something's been squiffy with Battle Assistant or not, so I've been a little bit reluctant. That CDC is pushing in the north, interestingly. Okay, well, might be able to get something down on these guys. Possibly. Or something on this Yag Tiger. Mm, he's too close into the buildings at the moment. Ah, oh, we splashed him. I mean, that's that's something. Uh, I think we should probably try and get moved as that little 1390 could be headed our way. RIU's not looking too healthy. There's the CDC coming. This could be the end of it for us. We do have him locked on. Don't know where that 1390 is. There he is. Let's get turned. Two seconds left. Ah, oh, that's a shame. We're almost loaded, damn you. Hmm. Okay. Interesting first match. Not much else to say there, really. Hmm. Well, while he's out, I thought Screw it, we'll carry on with some of the American artillery. So I'm going to try the M53 and 55. That was the first battle of today, so... Hmm. First artillery battle, should I say. They always tend to go a little bit squiffy, don't they, sometimes? So Kharkov's not the best map for artillery either. So, yeah, let's go out the M53 and 55, and then we'll have a look at both battle results when, uh, when, when they're both back. Karelia, tier 9 match again. Lots of artillery this time, three per side. We've got an interesting mix though. A tier seven, tier eight, and a tier nine. So, hmm, that's that. Now we do have more heavies. We do have more hit points. So they could effectively push around the south. So I think we should probably give the heavies help. We can help them push. And that could uh, help secure the victory. Victory! So we'll start off over here. 
fairly far back I know but we're gonna hug the side of the map we'll get aimed in up here just in case some medium tanks feel the need to push we can give our little RU some support whilst the heavies push on round here comes the Lorraine as well we'll let the guys know that this is where we are so let's be patient shot away that went long eh. righty -o. let's wait for the reload then push forwards just that little bit more you can get some shots up here so that's good the IU's down cool well, one of our arty managed to get uh, get shots on them which is good it's a Yag Tiger 88 as I like to call them maybe we could get something on the 12 no it looks like he's going to sit comfortably around there T-37's pushed on through well should we have a look for him maybe that might be an idea see if we can get aimed in yeah, we should be past the rocks shortly. Okay, when he's, he's pushing on this way, he's found the 207. It's not good. Can we get some shots on him? Sure we can eventually. No. It's not good. There we go. Wow, the battle assistant worked for us that time. Let's get moved. Maybe we could try and get some further shots down here. We need to keep an eye on the north now. Because the STI is all on his own. So, yes. This Yag Tiger. Sitting fairly safe. CDC is going to be difficult to get shots on. I think we're too close now to be able to get shots on these guys. That's a pain. Unless they pull back over this way, which they're not likely to do, to be honest. Let's keep an eye for this Yag Tiger then. And also one eye on the northern side of the map. Maybe we could do with moving back slightly. Just hang around here just in case something gets spotted. Could try and push on this IS-6. No, he's being very cautious. Okay, now they're going to pull back. I think they're probably on their own. Might get something on him. Possibly. Let's wait for him to fire because he'll probably move back once he's fired. We get something on the Yag Tiger. We could if we let the aim time come in. There we are. We hit him in the front. It's good. Maybe we could help our ISU out. Thing is, though, I think our guys are effectively pushing the south. I don't think the CDC is going to last much longer. Okay, one of our guys has got uh, shots on the SU-152. It's a Panther 88 pushing on the STI. Oh dear, there's two of them. Okay, might be worth this helping out the STI slightly. Let's get aimed in. Here we go, fully aimed shot. We need this to land. So, damn it. God, damn it. I think I rushed that, don't you? Righty-o, well, let's not hang around here then. Seeing as though the M53 and 55 is pretty quick and we are on reload, let's get moving. Do -do 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 -do. See if we can get to a fairly safe spot should have waited should have just waited that little bit longer <sighs> if we'd have penned him we would have finished him off even with the 800 odd hit points that he had Doo -doo -doo -doo. I don't know if the Hellcat's AFK even if he is AFK the least he can do is spot for us so he's spotted the 88 I don't know how much longer he's going to last if he is AFK Let's get aimed in. Pushes forward that little bit more. Okay. And 
Speculative shot. You never know. <laughs> right, we're on reload again. Everyone's on fairly low amount of hit points, although we do have quite a few machines left. They're all having to be cautious. So, the Lorraine's keeping an eye over this side. Let's keep an eye over here. Not able to get any shots across there, unfortunately. Hmm. Righty -o. We could have a look for some counter battery, possibly. Quite sure where the artillery are going to be sat now. I wouldn't have imagined them still to be around the cap, really. And since 9.14's come out, I haven't really seen any artillery tracers either, which is interesting. So I don't know whether that kind of thing has changed. I haven't read anything about that changing, but I mean, you never know. That sounded like a shell, didn't it? Okay. Well, we're not going to really be able to help out this IS-6 too much, I don't think, from where we're sat. No, it's going to come down and be pretty safe. If the IS-6 can draw him back, maybe. Damn it. Got moved right when we didn't want to. Okay, doesn't look like we've been spotted. So, let's get aimed in here. Looks like he might stay sat still. I mean, the likelihood of him staying sat still is fairly slim, but... Oh no, he did. But there's that. We are now on reload. Let's stay very still. No, we've been spotted. I'm going to have to move around. 20 seconds left in our reload. Looks like we might cop it to another artillery. E yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, well played, sir. Well, let's have a look at the results for the last two battles then, shall we? So, the M53 and 55, as you saw, was a defeat. Managed 1,814 of our own damage. We had uh, two out of our six shots actually hit something there. Oh, if, if only we'd have waited that little bit on the... Uh, the Panther 88. Coulda, shoulda, woulda, coulda. <laughs> Didn't. Never mind. But we were most of the way up the uh, the damage table there. Most of the way up the XP table as well. So it's not too bad for a loss, I suppose. There is that. So it's a little bit more XP, I suppose. Yeah. So, hmm. 50% of our shots there. Yes. So... Ooh, never mind. Happens. And at least we got taken out by another artillery, I suppose. And he was full chat in the back chat. Managed to land a shot on us, so kudos to him. This was the uh, results from the M40 and 43. That was a victory in the end with our whole amount of 342 damage. But we did get some assist. So I'm guessing that we... Did we spot him? No, assistance in destroying, so we probably tracked him then. Hmm. Yeah, so there's... A little bit of something. Unsurprisingly, we are way down on both the damage and XP table. But not to be surprised, we only got uh, a couple of shots off and then we died. So, yeah, there's that. Right, well, sticking with the Americans. I'm going to pop out Mr. Splashy, old Tom Sawyer. And, uh, yeah, see if we can have a good match with this. Was my first tier 10 artillery. And sometimes they do very well and other times not so well, so... Nice long reload. Let's try and get our shots aimed in and ready to fire. Just try and keep this gun firing and hopefully, 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 we can uh, we can do something good. So then, Overlord. Lots of medium tanks again. Now, purely because of the medium tanks, rather than sit over here, which is exactly where they expect us to be, I'm going to try and get to A5 if possible. We've got around 42 seconds of a reload, if not longer. So, let's see if we can get back over there and down into a spot where we can get some cover and then see if we can get aimed in on somebody. 
Not entirely sure on this map of counter battery, seeing as though there's only one artillery on each side. We might not be within too much luck. Um, there's many places that one could sit on either side, so that does mean that hopefully we won't get any battery from from him either. We will have to keep an eye out. So we're going to risk it. Sit kind of close. Don't think we've been spotted. C50M has been caught up on something. Maybe we could take advantage of that. The same time is very long. Looks like he's headed back down over the uh, the rise. Let's test the water with this. Damn it. Okay. I wasn't entirely sure of what was going to happen. But uh, there could have been a chance where we managed to get just over the crest of the hill and hit him. But it wasn't to be. There's a Jagdpanzer E100 there. He's probably worth taking, taking a shot at. Let's uh, see if he gets spotted again. If not, we'll pop forward again and have a look at the WZ11111. 20. See, I, I get too much in the habit of saying that with the, uh, the heavy tanks, don't I? <laughs> right, well, we're loaded again. He's not been spotted. That's because he's moving. Let's see if we can... Shot away. There we go. We still haven't been spotted, so that's good. always have a look over here at these tank destroyers this 22 t22 is doing a good good thing of staying alive there righty let's see if we can get one of these uh, one of these guys aimed in on before the end of our reload these medium tanks could probably do with a hand with this concrete all the tank destroyers. We can't take a shot on him with our T-54 being so close. But we might be able to get something on one of these guys. Possibly finish him off. Shot away. And it fell short anyway. Okay. Well, I feel a bit more comfortable about us heading into the uh, northeastern corner. Especially with the amount of people pushing down the, uh, the beach. So there's the enemy artillery. Let's keep an eye on what's going on over there whilst we're driving into this corner. They are hiding behind this building fairly well. There was one shot coming from somebody. There's another one. It's moving again. Let's see if we can get aimed in. Get a shot on this tortoise then. Maybe if the... Uh, the T-92 shows up, we could get a shot on him. Let's see what we can do here then. Now let's get moving again. There goes the tortoise. Excellent stuff. Awesome, they're pushing fairly well. How did I go blue? It's not good. Does mean we can take him out without any penalties though. Which is good. Not entirely sure what happened there, but... Something happened. Whether someone got in front of him and the ammo racked him, or whether he shot someone in anger, you can never tell. This is the uh, North American server. Some strange things can happen on the North American servers. Yes. Okay, so we might be able to push forwards. Let's try and get aimed in and get another shot on possibly this Yag Tiger got time he's just loaded uh, fired sorry let's try and get aimed in then let's wait for him to uh, pop up over this rock possibly which way is he going this way okay I'll let this aim time come in shot away that could have splashed him not entirely sure 
Ooh, there's some mutts over there. And I have to be careful of the mutts. Wonder if we can get back over here by these trees so then we don't get spotted. Ooh, so slow. So very slow. Mutts is coming for us. Do, 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 do. He might not spot us because of all the cover. Looks like he might not. We can get over past this ridge. Could be in with a good one. Okay, let's see if we can get aimed in. Ooh. There isn't any any enemy artillery for us to uh to be wary of. He's being careful and sticking low down on the ridge. Maybe we can take refuge in the fact we have a medium tank with us and take a shot on another potential dangerous target like this bat chat. Need to let the same time come in though. Shot away. Damn it. Been spotted again. Hopefully the bat chat can finish him off. Yes, he can. Super duper. All right, let's get going because that they know where we are or where we were. So, yes. How much longer we're going to stay alive? I don't know. Let them know of our reload. Let's keep an eye for this bat chat then. Okay, if he pokes over this ridge, we should be able to pick him off. What? Really? Well, at least we could get some ramming damage in him. Maybe I would have been better doing the... Uh, having a go at the shotgun, possibly. But... Mm, it wasn't to be, so... Looks like this could possibly be a loss, maybe. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Good game. Well, as you saw, that was a defeat, but we did manage just over 2,000 damage, 2,031 in total. It's a shame about that WZ. We could have finished him. Maybe I should have gone for a standard shotgun rather than overhead view, but, you know, it is what it is. So we did quite well on the damage compared to the other people on our team. Not so well on XP, but to be expected yeah so seven shots fired one direct hit and two splashes so yeah 14.29 percent lovely excellent well you win some you lose some so <laughs> that's that well happy april fools to everybody leave a like and stuff if you enjoyed and uh, i will see you in the next one so until then